Welcome everyone to a new season four of the Complete Pine Leaf. And I am celebrating the start of season four and our entry into Dunland and our heading towards Isengard with a new outfit. This outfit is a reward for VIPs that corresponds to the opening of the new area here on the legendary servers. But we have here Coronier, who I'm sure finally wants to get out of this place after that fiasco that we had at the end of the third season. We have delayed too long already. I am ready to go. Yes, I'm ready to go. Return to Halbred at Lanuk, and we will decide how best to proceed south into Dunland. We will leave this place behind, and none too soon. If we had left earlier, we could have left with Candace and my fallen brothers, and not without them. Yeah, a bit of a problem that we had here. Let's get to Lanuk then. Were you all getting ready to leave, Hobrad? Coronier is right. This delay has been costly. If what you say is true, and Saruman does know of our errand, we travel from hardship into even greater peril. And yet, we must not despair or turn from our road, where our brethren will have fallen for naught. <sighs> There are two paths we could take into Dunland, and I propose that we split into smaller groups to travel each of these paths. We will be less likely to be noticed as we cross into Dunland. Prestadir and, Bra and Bragiar have scouted our options. Speak with them to hear the two roads that we might take to enter into Dunland. Hopefully at least one of them will be good. Hello there. Let's begin with... Prestadir. The bone veils are dusty and barren, and its people are tough like coffin nails. The southeast passage into Dunland will take us through the bone veils, an inhospitable and barren land. The crags and valleys are dusty and barren, and its people are tough like nails. There are few souls in the bone veils, few eyes to watch our passage. Caution must be our watchword. Stealth, our constant companion. My group will welcome you in your pre with your presence, Pineley. Wonderful! More dead, right? Yeah. And what do you say? Trumdrang is a forested land where shadows pool in the hollows between the hills. Yes, the southwest passage into Dunlin will take us through Trumdrang. It is a forested land, where shadows pool in the hollows between the hills. As I scouted ahead, I saw emblems and totems of a horned stag, but few people. They are likely to be on the edge of the conflicts in Dunland, though, if it be by their choice or by necessity, I did not discover. You are welcome to come to with my group into Troom Drang, Pineleaf, and we will learn the truth of it. Ah! Which way to go? Hmm. So, I need to flip a coin, then? Which road do you wish to take into Dunland? Each will have its dangers. Yes, you've heard what we know about our possible paths into Dunland. Each way would be dangerous, and we will not know what awaits us. Until we get there. Which road do you wish to take into Dunland? Each will have us dangers. Make your choice and tell me, Brygear or Prestadir, which group you wish to follow. Brygear, if you wish to travel through Troom Drank, or Prestadir, if you wish to enter into the Bone Vales. Wish to enter into the Bone Vales. Who would wish to enter into the Bone Vales? I'm just asking. And but, is that the right way to go? I need a ponder. Usually, when I head down into Dunland, I go to the Vone Vales. And that's because it's straight down the road and I don't have to worry about that crazy force you need to go through in order to get down to the stag country. 
But, since I've gone through the bone veil so much, I think it's time for me to ferry things up a little bit and head into stag country. I welcome you into the group that will travel into Trumdrain, the land of the stag. The land of the stag. We'll do our best to come that way into Dunlin, free of danger. We will move swiftly and silently, and our company will be in number small enough to escape prying eyes. Saruman knows that we must pass into Dunland, but the time and manner of our coming is still ours to control. Let us be off at once. We can stop and see how things fare once we have crossed into Trumdrang. Very well. Let us then head into Trumdrang. Ah, I'm finally through this dreadful forest. Now it's time to see what's up ahead. The land of the stag. Duvispont. Right. And it looks like our ranger is here. Hello there. Hi there, Brygear. We have crossed into Dunland. And now find ourselves in the land of the stag. Be on your guard, Pineleaf. We need to know what the situation here is, and we can only know that by observing the people. Scout the area to the south and determine what it will be what we'll be dealing with as we pass through this land. Very well. What are we going to be finding? Oh well, I can see a local here, a lookout. He's not shooting at me yet, which is maybe a good sign. Hello there. Do not speak the names of evil things, for you will call them. Yeah, I hear that a lot. Hail, Duvoniad. Will you stay a moment? We have need of a strong warrior like yourself in our little band. We can find work for you and reward as well, for there is much to be done. And even more to be gained. You, you just recruit random outsiders to join your band. This place is stranger than I thought. And who said that these people didn't welcome outsiders? It's time to start our little passage into Dunland. Hello. I have not seen your kind before. Oh, you haven't? I guess you've never been to the Gloom Glens then. Especially not to the Shire either, of course. Yes, there are not many of us, but we're enough to stir up some trouble when we wish to. Yes, you'll find that we value those who are strong and warlike, Devoniad or no. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, I am bedecked with spears. But do I look strong and warlike to you? I didn't think so. Well, come. I'll bring you to the others. Yeah. Cannon fodder. Or, or, or I guess ballista fodder might be a better word for it. We value strong folk here. Even Duvoniad. Yeah, I think you've heard that before. Definitely ballista fodder. Yeah. You will find us a humble band of outcasts. Oh, we have high lofty hopes for ourselves, though. Hmm. Hail, brother. I found a warrior upon the road who wishes to join us for a time. That's good tidings. This looks to be a stalwart sort of soldier. I believe we have much better chance of raiding the Troom Drink now. Aye, aye, I agree. Riches shall be soon ours. Uh, there is a little village nearby, you see. It's called Laren. If this doe we have trapped signifies, I'll guess that they're from the stag clan. A soft lot. Alright. <laughs> it's interesting they refer to her as a doe. Who is this stranger? Look out! Uh, an adventurer. This outsider wishes to help us. Surely the, to reap riches. An adventurer from foreign parts? You will indeed be a boon! Doe, 
Tell us of your village. Where is the food? A thousand curses upon you, outcast! You do not frighten me. Ha ha ha! This little doe does herself few favors. Whether or not you speak up, girl, we will invade your puny village. I might have spared your life had you been more forthcoming. Uh, you may question her if you wish, Devonian. Perhaps you will find more success. Uh, yeah, that's it. Stranger, I beg you, you need not be a part of this injustice. All right. But, yeah, sort of interesting, of course, stag clan. So they refer to as a, as a doe, which is, I guess, appropriate. And, of course, based on her language she's used so far, uh, she seems to be about, about as timid as Nona. Hello? I have not seen your kind before. You do not look so evil, Devoniat. Please, if there's any good in you, free me. My village depends upon me. I'm their chief huntress and protector. My weapons were taken from me, but I will help you in a fight, I beg you. Very well. I suppose, considering this lot here. There you go. Ah, thank you. Come, let us drive out these fiends. Yeah, I think we could do that. Oh, yeah, she must be tough as... Outcast! Now you do... You will not catch me unawares. Yeah. Yeah, she, she'll just punch them. I hope she picks up one of their weapons for the next round. If you got time. Uh, of course, we don't get time. Yeah, come at us in waves. Yeah. I'm not too sure I'd want to bring a... Bring fists into a sword fight. I'm getting out of here! Cowards and fools! All of them! I have to do everything myself! Come at me if you dare! Hmm. I'll come at you, and I dare. Y you pay for this! Yeah, I'm sure I will. Maybe I should have given her a spare weapon or something. That that would have been useful, right? I should have thought that earlier. <sighs> oh well. There you go. Greetings. Will you remain here long? Ah, thank you, friend. I am Elaine, and you have the gratitude of myself and my village. Should you wish it, you may have refuge in Lan Terran for as long as you like. Oh, we do not normally invite strangers into our midst, but I will tell the elder that what you have done for me. Very well. Let's then head to the village. And it looks like the stag village has all the comforts of home, meaning a milestone. Oh, we don't need to get to we don't need Nars Peak anymore, I guess. Next quest sends you to Nars Peak. <laughs> yes. And uh, we also You are welcome here, as long as you do not trouble us. Right. Oh believe me, I'm gonna be a great deal of trouble. And a couple places we could head for once we're there. And, of course, the entrance to the village. Hello there. Hold, Duvoniad. Let me have a look at you. Hi, you are the kind warden to whom Elaine spoke. We have been expecting you. You have our gratitude and our hospitality. We do not make a habit of welcoming outsiders into our midst, but exceptions are to be made for a hero. Yes, come. There are many who wish to thank you. And most of all, the Elder. He can be found within. All right. The Stag Clan of Lantaran welcomes me. And here is Lantaran. Ooh. A task board. We haven't seen one of those in a long time. Not since we entered into Lothlorien. Because we didn't have any in Mirkwood. And none of them out in Ended White. And this place is hopping with players right now. Which is 
unusual because it's well where I am it's seven o'clock in the morning, which is not exactly what you call a hopping time for a server, especially on a Friday. I suppose some of the people in Europe might be on or something like that, or someone who wants to get a really early start to the day in their questing, such as myself, I guess. Hello there, Elaine. I have not seen your kind before. Well, except when you rescued me, of course. Yes, I knew that you would come, Pineleaf. I hope, um, Cadell did not give you any trouble on the bridge. My people are suspicious of Devoniad, but I told them about how you rescued me from the outcasts. The Elder wishes to speak with you, my friend. He means to give you a proper welcome. All right. Then, let's go and speak with the clan elder, who is up here. Ah, you must be Pine Leaf. Come, come, make yourself at home. I like the look of you, Pine Leaf. A good, strong, sturdy hobbit. That is what I like in a warrior. What, being a hobbit? Oh, he must have been to the Gloom Glen's den, right? Yes, yes, you have done us a great service by re rescuing our headstrong little huntress. Elaine is a brash girl, but we would be helpless without her. Hmm, yes. A lot like Nona, that's all I got. Look, this armor here is... Oh, the wonder it's light armor. No wonder it looked a little... What is that? Can you tell what it is? <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, oh, that's okay. The, oh, the bracers are what they're looking at. Yeah. As in, we have the leather helm. Strange enough, I already have something better. Oh, well, oh, what about the ring? Yeah, meh. We'll just get that and continue on. Do not speak the names of evil things, or you will call them. Ew, right. So that means make sure I don't do things like say the name of some evil thing three times or something like that. Tonight is the Feast of the Running Stag, our clan's annual festival. It is an important ritual, and you must join us and share in our fair. Tonight, you are of the... Karuluth, the stag clan. Now, be off with you. I must prepare, and I can't remember where I left the three ritual pieces. Ah, uh, curse this old head of mine. Ah, the crown, the spear, the hair. Where did I leave them? Hmm, all right, so. The crown, the spear, and the hair. And, of course... Well, he doesn't explicitly ask for them, but the idea is that guess that you take the hint that he needs to find it, so you need to help him to find it. I suppose worse comes to worse. Maybe I could loan him a spear for the ceremony. I, I know, probably won't be the same thing, but here we go. Ooh, a horse tail. This horse tail is old, with many of the hairs frayed and bent. Right? Looks a little bit like a ritual piece. It certainly has some hair on it. So it may do. Let's see. Ah! Well. Yeah. This is definitely more likely the spear that he wants. A vicious looking spear tipped with old blood. Wow. My spear is probably tipped with new blood of brigands that I recently fought. And, well, we, we certainly don't need a mailbox. Or a campfire. Oh, a crown! Oi! Oh, up there! <laughs> up this way, up that way, up the other way. Aha, here we go. A crown. There it is, right here. How does this crown look? 
Sort of a stereotypical crown, I would say. There you go. It's made of st sticks and rocks. Obviously, not intended to be very flattering to the people that the crown represents. That's what I gotta say about that. How about these? Oh, you're a kind one, Pine Leaf. I am ready to replace the rest of the Stag Clan with just you. <laughs> Truth be told. <laughs> uh, um, do not pay me any mind. Uh, they are a useless little clan, but they're no less dear to me for that. Ah, thank you for helping this old man gather his wits. Now, I may begin to prepare for tonight. There you go. And I'm sure that our friends here will be needing some additional work for me before then. What else do they need to, need to do here in this little stag village? We'll have to find that out in the next episode of The Complete Pine Leaf.